American realizing that the Kevin crowd was sneakily trying to take points um, on the north side you know when the American wasn't there so American re obviously realizing that and taking out that cat and crud so I like that I like seeing those sort of things now this flak finally just about to be done and there we go the flak is finished these Hellcats I think they need to back off they're not gonna be able to take out this flak fast enough but this flak is gonna be laying a whole bunch of hurt and very soon and funnily enough it actually looks like the flak is wow. gone already so was that from three that was from three uh, Hellcats I suspect it was the anti-tank guns. They're quite effective against flax, actually. Surprisingly, there are the anti-tank guns. So Genosi not One M18 has all. On you go, Dave. One M18 has already caught fire, and the Panther makes its getaway. So it's pretty cool that he's bringing up all these anti-tanks uh, in with the rest of his Hellcats. I like seeing that uh, mixture of units of support and so on. Taking out that flax, so that's quite a bit yes. of losses because the flax are decently expensive as well. Quite so, almost as expensive as a Panzer IV. And we see all the riflemen pulling back in the face of one single Panther. Oh, in the east. It seems a bit excessive. Maybe they don't have stickies or something, but. Yeah, but certainly a bit excessive and a bit unruly. Now I'm not entirely sure what he's up to. You go ahead. I was just going to ask, um, how much, how many units does the PE have in total at the moment? He has five units, three infantry teams, one of those being a Luftwaffe, and two Panthers. Okay, so that's fair enough. It seems like there's been quite a bit of casualties over the course of the game. And here we just... Yeah, he's not been too good at preserving his troops and vehicles. In fact, losing a lot of them. Quite unfortunate losses. But then again, that's been what's been happening for both sides of the... Um, both opponents. So we have had quite a lot of losses from the P. Quite a lot of losses from the Americans as well. I would say that this game is still up for grabs. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, heavy presence of anti-tank in the center. Obviously, going to combat all these uh, tanks, the Panthers, and so on. But then again, there's still two Panthers on the field on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. So I'd st still say it's quite open to debate at the moment. The Mortar Half-Track throwing down an mm -hmm. incendiary shell on these anti-tank guns, doing a very good job at taking them out. I really would have liked to see Genosi move those anti-tank guns as soon as he saw that um, shell coming down. But even prior to that, even separating the anti-tank guns as well. And now the Panther is leading the charge. One M18 already damaged engine and probably going to be knocked out in seconds. Oh jeez. And we see a white phosphorus round actually being used. A bit devastating against the panther but for some reason he's not using his other m18 to actually flank it instead using it as an opportunity to escape <laughs> that's what it seems like he's doing he could have actually possibly taken out that panther he had a very good chance if he went around it but instead he's leaving one of those m18s behind how unfortunate losing that sort of a, um <laughs> sort of comrade love between the tanks but oh well i suppose get out there and be a bit selfish look out for yourself Yeah, there certainly seems to be a lack of coordination between his forces a bit. And so what we saw that the PE were pushed back to their base and all this anti-tank in the center. Now we're seeing quite a reversal. The PE have managed to break out from their base, push forward, start capping away. And really seems like the Americans are on the back foot at the moment. They're all the way back at their base. They really need to amass guys um, anti-tank back together. But... Most importantly, they need to use it effectively. Now, I'm not sure if the uh, Sherman is actually the best way to go about this, especially since it's not upgunned at all. Um, AT guns would be absolutely perfect as long as you kept them alive. Well, the Sherman will be good against infantry, but at the m and of course absorbing most of the shot from the Panthers. But I'm considering his army usage. I'm not entirely sure it will be used 
for the best, but if you can at least keep the Panzer lead away from the victory point for a few more minutes, then you can probably win the fight, as currently the Americans do have the massive victory point advantage, whereas the Panzer lead only has 85 points left. Oh, and now definitely the points uh, come down to come down to attention. So once you're starting to hit around the 200, 200 uh, mark, then you really need to start taking care of your victory points. So the pa Panzer lead are down to 85 at the moment. Uh, there is no point gain or loss since there is one for each side and a neutral in the center. This could be a very good opportunity for for the Americans to win if they manage to capture the center point and possibly the um, western point as well. Yeah, but we're currently having a large exchange between one rather veteran Panthers versus all the American armor, and it's currently not looking good for the armor. The M18 is trying to slug it out, in fact, exposing the rear armor. This is rather poor armor tactics, I might say. And now we things are not looking any better, actually. Definitely poor armor tactics. I would have liked to have seen this M18 change its um, frontal arm to be facing towards the Panthers, or else it wouldn't have to take so much damage. These Panthers barely taking any damage except for the Veteran C1 Panther. Just crawling away, getting away from there. One Sherman being taken out. The TM18 very much so on fire right now. Cooking alive, being out of control and just about to explode. There we go. The remainder of the uh, that little attack force is trying to get away from there. Hopefully maybe trying to take out that one Panther. But both Panthers in pursuit. We have Vet 3 Panther as well. And a Pershing has hit the field, joining the fight. Just in the nick of time, we really needed that sort of uh, um, heavier anti-tank um, armor on the field. This is definitely what Genosi needs. And the second M18 crashes right into a building. Certainly not been the best in engagement although it was really looking rather close to one panther being knocked out but he just managed to fumble it i think so no losses at the moment for opium <laughs> it seems like that other t17 going down the pe have actually taken one of the american anti-tank guns and is throwing shells back at the pershing so using their own weapons against um against the enemy so i like seeing that Two Panthers just chasing down this Pershing at the moment. And Luftwaffe infantry moving in with Panzer Specs, the remaining ones, while the most of them were actually used to crew the anti-tank gun in a clever move. Thus meaning you won't losing any valuable troops at tasks like that. This is looking very, very bad for the American armor at the moment. No sort of um, access to field repairs just needs a one more ammunition in order to go for it he might do it since his Pershing is just down to the wire and yes he's activated activated it but out of control way too um, I think too trigger happy there obviously shouldn't have done that interesting thing is the Panzer League player is floating ludicrously in large amounts of manpower but he can't use it because he has so very little territory it's quite a curious situation in fact since the American almost has total map control, but he can't actually defeat the remaining Panzer Elite forces due to the veterancy of the Panthers. And that's been the funny thing. So this entire time when we had these engagements from the uh, between the PE and the Americans, now we've seen that the Americans have used their uh, right, their infantry to good effect to basically cap the entire map. And as uh, Imperial Dane has been saying that Popcap taking a big effect. He cannot even get a, a uh, an army or mass any more units. So even though the PE are doing such a good job against the Americans, they cannot do anything. Because simple as the fact is, he does not have the Popcap to do so. Indeed, and he barely seems to be taking any territory. In fact. It looks like the American T-17 is continuing to harass the central victory points, certainly not looking good for the Panzer Elite play, although it looks like now a Panther might deal with that T-17, and there we go, T-17 brewed all up. 
And that is... In fact, things are getting so desperate, he's suiciding his units against the American base, it seems. <laughs> wow. So very desperate things at the moment. Um, it seems like the American is very keen on trying to win this by points, and I would definitely say that is a sensible thing to do. He does not have much of an army. He really needs to rebuild something. He definitely needs that at the moment. But then again, solid map control. I'd, I would like to see the P actually start capping away at something. And they are, here we go, capturing this strategic point. But I would definitely like to see more in infantry capping um, all these uh, other points. Or another Kettenkrad even. Thing is, he has so very little infantry. Only three teams a month. Those is trying to repair the Panther, and we see something up from the Americans from that base. A anti-tank gun. Whoop de doo. <laughs> so basically, this entire game, we saw a lot of units um, to the early to mid game, and here we go. Just hardly anything on the field at the moment. The P is so keen on sacrificing stuff that they're even throwing their infantry towards the American base and as you guys can see just losing this anti-tank gun I believe the riflemen most sensibly would take this recapture this anti-tank gun they need to get it repaired though because it's very close to being taken out easy could be taken out one shot from a panther but it seems like P because of the high uh, pop cap of these panthers is just trying to do something maybe get another cat and crowd maybe get more infantry So he's trying to get a kitten crab at the moment and is actually the only unit he can actually really build the situation is of course a bit funny. One player has plenty of resources but he doesn't have the population to actually use it and the other player has plenty of that but he doesn't really have the resources to use that. <laughs> so it's quite a very strange situation. So qu they're on the opposite ends of the scale at the moment. I do like how this uh, sort of stalemate is breaking apart as soon as the pop cap of the pe is going up he obviously has that uh all the resources so he's building away at the stuff that he needs he's capturing some uh, resource points and that is what he really needs to do is the american getting thing yes he is he has a pershing on the field is just about to come he has a few anti-tank guns and we will see what's going to happen out of this Indeed, although it looks like he's going for the Henschel Panzer Naka support, although he doesn't really have the munitions to support it, the only thing he has is a ridiculous amount of manpower. In fact, he has 2,000. Oh, good lord. A oh person gosh. taking almost 50% damage via the butterfly mines. It wouldn't even matter if the, <laughs> if the PE lost both of his Panthers because he could instantly bring on another two, and he could do that twice in a row as well. Indeed, he can bring in Fortune Jaeger or Wilbermans or just again Panthers, more Panthers. And he's certainly getting a lot more population now, so I suspect we'll be seeing a lot more out of his base. Indeed, a half hack is on the field. And a mortar half track as well. I'm guessing he's going to be using that to take out any anti tank guns and also just to protect the VPs. If he can't do a direct direct front assaults with his Panthers, at least what he could be doing is using a mortar half track from farther away, just making sure that these VPs aren't being capped. But we need to see something happen sometime soon because the points for the PE are dropping at the moment. And once more the Pershing fumbles in and exposes its rear armor to the Panther. Certainly not armor tactics, that is Genocide Devil's strong side, I'd say. Something keen about the uh, back armor, I suppose. <laughs> not really sure how to explain that. <laughs> 